testing out Dean's new coffee pot today. So it's really cool. It's like a filtered coffee. I'm really excited. Gosh, it's so beautiful. Nothing. Look at that little yeah. smoothie face. <laughs> Every time I pull up the camera, he stops laughing. <laughs> Happy Canada Day. Look at this girl. I am feeling rough, you guys. I had an upset stomach last night, and I couldn't really quite shake it. And then I woke up this morning, and I... I went to the bathroom and I was like sick everywhere, like in the toilet of course, but just I vomited and I hate vomiting, it's the worst. It's gone now and truth be told, I actually think it's anxiety related. Not that I struggle with anxiety too much, but when it hits me, I feel like all of a sudden I'm depleted and yesterday was the perfect storm. I didn't eat very well. I had like Starbucks breakfast, which was a croissant. Then I had McDonald's lunch, which has no nutritional value. And I went all day hard. And then I came home and then I was doing a, mov a movie, a video, and I didn't even realize it was like 5.36. And by the time I realized I hadn't eaten dinner, it was 8 o'clock at night. That is way too long for someone like me who struggles with like their sugar levels and stuff. So it was like the perfect storm. So I went to bed real early. It must have been like 10. And the whole night my stomach was tossing and turning and finally this morning. So I'm feeling better now. I do not look better, but I'm feeling better. Unfortunately, it is Canada Day and my dad is here because we had plans for my dad to come out for a barbecue. So I warned him in advance. I was like, Dad, I'm like, I'm seriously not feeling well. So it's going to be a weird day. But he's like, it's all good. He hasn't seen the kids in a bit and the kids really like to see him. And he's an extra set of hands to help. So anyway, so I went upstairs and I got this little makeup crayon because Esme wants a little maple leaf on her cheek because it's Canada's 149th birthday today. That's a big deal. It's kind of a shitty day for Canada Day. It's like overcast and cold and raining and sunny and all. It's like all the seasons in one day. And the dog was called Petsu. You know what you know what Petsu means? It means little wolf. The dog, that was his name, little wolf. The dog was see the rooster. Man, he don't like that rooster. Fun things like descaling the kettle. Water, vinegar, let it sit, then you bring it to a boil. I feel like in Ontario, their water, at least in southern Ontario, the water is very hard. Is that what it's called when it gets lots of minerals in it? So, yeah, because we have to put softener, like salt in our water to soften it. So, anyways, um, I'm not feeling 100%. So, yeah, I just got to take better care. Start going to bed at a reasonable time, um, planning out my life a little bit better. You know, get back into the meal planning because that kind of fell off. You know, scheduling times for me to dedicate to editing a video so that I'm not doing it till 2 in the morning. Those kinds of things. So anyways, that's what's up there. I'm very lucky to have a very supportive spouse. And so he's tired today because he worked. But he's like, he knows I'm feeling a little bit low. So he's like, just go inside, have a tub with Epsom salts and just relax. And so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to chill out for a little bit. So tonight we're having lasagna for dinner. Just like trying to bring it back to basics, you know. Getting a video ready for tomorrow. Um, but yeah, sorry that the footage has been a little bit sparse. I'm just uh, not feeling myself and I'm a real person so when you're vlogging your real life sometimes this happens, you know. Doing some fun stuff with my microphone and trying to find some nice music. But I'm really excited about a series that I just launched on Monday. So you're watching this on Wednesday. I'm doing this three part series. It's a summer series. So it's food, fun and frolic. So I've done three epic smoothies, that's the first one, and then you'll have to come back for um, the fun series, which is like fun activities for you and your kids, and then the last one is adult kind of centered activities for the frolic part, so I'm really excited about it. But um, yeah, I won't be in this one forever. I don't know if you've ever experienced that, but you just feel like tired, worn out, there's been a lot of stuff happening, I had people visiting, and I just felt like, okay, wave the flag, I'm done, you know? So um, anyways, lucky for me, the husband is home for a little bit so he can help me out. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to check in. So I'm sorry I've been MIA, but I know you guys will understand because you're all very cool people. So, yeah. All right, I'm going to finish this video and get it online for you. Yay! By the way, I'll include the link below and there'll probably be like an annotation somewhere on the screen where you can click to go watch um, that summer, that summer video. So it should be fun. Today is Operation Tidy This Place because tomorrow there's actually going to be a film crew here, would you believe? Um, getting some bits and clips for a little commercial that the kids and I are doing. So that's cool. Uh, but oh my God, they're going to be in my house. 
What do you think about that, Mr. No Pants? Where's your pants? Where'd they go? And anyway, milk and toast and a peach because I'm hungry. I haven't eaten very much in the last few days. I've not been feeling my best, honestly. I don't really know what's going on. Um, so yeah, I know a lot of you are like, oh my god, baby number three. Listen, it's not baby number three. <laughs> it's just, you know when the time is right. And yeah, no, it can't be that. So I just feel weak. I just feel off. That's it. Anyway, I'm gonna eat a peach, okay? And then I'm gonna clean. But also, how beautiful is my door? Like I can't, it's just, oh my God, I love it. It's so good, so good. Kind of doing a reset of the living room space, a little bit cozy. The stupid thing is still here. We still haven't bought a sofa yet. It's our priority to get the living room sorted by the fall so that it'll be all ready for when the weather gets cooler. So for right now, we're still, you know, working on the outside of the house. So yeah, the plan for this room is to get just like a regular sofa, none of this L-shaped business, and then that big piece will go downstairs, hopefully. Old house, boy. Do you remember that DIY piece from last summer? Dean did that one. And then we had this little table kicking around. It was sitting in Esme's room for a bit, and so he painted it yellow to match. I think it looks great. And then found that little tripod lamp today over at HomeSense. I think it suits the room really well, and I really like it, so fun little find. Um, hello. I, my husband has been away for 10 days, and I have a baby. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. I like your princess dress, very sweet. <laughs> so you excited for the filming tomorrow, film crew? Filming, I want a drink. Do you want a drink right now? Okay, let's go get one. I don't think I've ever seen my kitchen so clean. It's incredible in here. <laughs> I love my yellow door. It's just like such a happy little door. And my living room looks so tidy. Look at that cute baby over there. Hi, baby. Look, we got rid of, finally got rid of that dresser. It's living in Esme's room now. And the one that was in Esme's room is in the garbage. It's in someone else's house. I'm excited, so I'm gonna go get ready. They're gonna be here in like an hour or so. I have some time. <laughs> and I went to bed at a good time. See, I'm learning. I can change my habits. I was in bed before midnight, so that's awesome. Anyway, okay, coffee, get ready, all the things. Hello. Yeah, I got some juice. What do you got? I got juice. Mm hmm. I've got cheers. Want to do cheers? Cheers. Yeah. That was a really fun day. Super fun. Oh my goodness. Not like a secret project or anything like that, just um, like it was a commercial spot. It was really cool to have a film crew here and they were all so damn nice um, working together and it was really fun. Really fun. Now I'm going to sit down, sit down, put my feet up and have a beer because you know what? It's been a long day. <laughs> Probably take my eyelashes off too because that would make me feel better. <laughs> So, um, just to like recap the last couple days. So as you know, I've been taking on like more work in terms of like paid work when it comes to YouTube. And it's all very exciting. Um, and also know that the way that I'm going about it is in such a way that it makes sense with who I am as a person. And I know that you guys know that, like we spoke, yeah, we sat down, I remember sitting in the chair when it was by the window and telling you guys that, you know, I kind of either was going to make a go of this YouTube gig as my income, you know, as my job, or I was going to have to sort of put it aside and do something else because it's very expensive to live in Canada and be a stay-at-home mom. So I was having a discussion with somebody today and she looked at me and she was like, you're not a stay-at-home mom, you're a work-from-home mom. And I was like, oh my goodness, I totally am. Um, when you think about the hours that you put into building something like a YouTube channel, like it, it doesn't come overnight, you know, I've been doing this for four years now and a lot of time, a lot of effort, you know, you try to do different things and make changes that make sense to make you happy and make me happy and all those things. Um, but anyway, all of that to say is that I've slowly been working with brands and working on campaigns that make sense for who I am and who I am as a creator and as a person and as mom. Like things that I talk about and things that I share with you are things that I would really go out and use um, 
and tell my friends about. Do you know what I mean? Because that's how I see you guys as a friend. You know, a lot of times people will comment and say, you know, I watched a vlog and I felt like I was talking to a friend because that's how I think of you. I share things with you like you're just a friend of mine sitting here on the sofa across from me and this is no exception. I wouldn't feel very good about myself if I was trying to go about things in an authentic way and you know, really try to push something that didn't make sense. Like it wouldn't come across genuine. So I hope you that you know that. And that is taken into consideration when I accept jobs and opportunities. So anyways, I'm not sitting here saying I'm working on something and I can't tell you because that's not very nice. Um, but I am sitting here saying that you will see new things for me. You might see little commercials like on YouTube that I'm working with brands. Um, but I hope that when you see them, you're like, yeah, that's totally Amanda and that's her family and she would totally do that or whatever, you know? So anyways, it's all exciting things and I'm really excited. But what I was going to tell you is that as you notice, the past few days, I've been really feeling like crap. And you know what that was? That was like anxiety. It was this buildup of stress. I basically worked myself into this like frenzy because I knew that I had this work day today where this film crew was coming in to film these little bits and clips of me and the kids and I was so freaking stressed about it. So stressed actually that I puked twice um, and my stomach was bloated like what? <laughs> and it's interesting because sometimes you don't realize when you're in it um, how stressful you can make it yourself and so I guess that's a little like reminder to myself like Amanda calm the F down this is a first world problem and things are very good like wh why are you so stressed but it's also a reminder of my personality and I've always been one to be really nervous about something when I've never done something before like just as an example um, when Dean and I lived in BC we went up to Whistler and we were gonna go do um, zip lining let me just tell you, that drive from Vancouver to Whistler, I was like, I can't do it. I'm so stressed. I was so nervous. Dean was like, oh God, woman, like, should we just go home? Well, the first zip line I did, I was scared out of my rocker. For the next eight zip lines, do you know who was at the front of the line? This girl. So this is like standard Amanda. I get really worked up about stuff and then it's like, oh, it was no big deal. And everyone around me is like, we told you. So that's what that was. I'm a little bit embarrassed by it, but I guess it, it has common, anxiety is common. I suppose it's a good thing in a way, like I'm really rambly by now, but you know, when you're nervous about something, it could be that you're just really excited and you realize it's, it's of an important value. And so I placed a lot of value on it and therefore it got a little stressed out. Womp womp. You'll have to let me know in the comments if you ever experience this kind of anxiety over silly things because I feel a little bit embarrassed to be honest. Well, anyways, yeah, okay. On that note, I'm actually gonna wrap up the vlog right here because it is Tuesday. You guys, you know what I just realized? I almost forgot, I'm looking at my calendar and I was like, wait up. This is the end of two years of weekly vlogs. Two full years of weekly vlogs are on the internet. That's bizarre. The first weekly vlog I ever made, I sat down and I said, guess what people, we're leaving Malaysia. And I started to document that entire journey. So if you're curious, you know, the links are below to the weekly vlog playlists. You can check them all out there, um, but that's insane. So that's it. It's the end. Next week is day one or week one of year three. That's crazy. <laughs> Have a great week. Thank you so much for watching and keep it real. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.